Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute but we're back and today I am going to be doing my, I was going to say probably but it's definitely my most requested video yet. I'm going to be doing a Shrek cast Q&A. Basically I did a little Instagram story where I got you guys to comment your questions for the cast. I've got many questions ready to ask the cast so I hope you enjoy this video. Hey girls, so you first want to say your names, your role and where you trained. So I'm Remy, I play Tinkerbell and I trained at Erlang Academy. Woo! Well, a few things! Woo. Sorry Tash. Um, <laughs> I'm Natasha Kiyabiyab and I trained at GSA and I play Young Fiona and Epiphora on Ensemble Roll. Woo! Um, okay, so first question is, what do you think your funniest on stage moment has been? Oh, I've got one straight on my head. So Sheila. The dragon, the jaw, <laughs> fell onto the floor in front of, where were we? It was, was it Leicester? Leicester I feel like it was Leicester. 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 Okay. On the yes, last night. Watch it on the TV oh my god, yeah. Like, we were like, what just fell off? Yeah. And we had to kick it off stage and it was, it, she just went up, jaw dropped, literally. That Brilliant. Okay. What know. is the hardest part about touring? Um, like trying to keep up to date with sort of like friends and family. It's really hard mm. to figure out what days you can see your friends. Like, I'm in a friend group of three and I think we have one day in the next like five months or whatever that we can oh see each other. Because my other friends on tours, so it's, yeah. it's, it's quite an unsociable job, isn't it? Yeah, but yes. I get to spend all my time with Remy, so yeah. it's okay. Absolutely. What is your favourite city you've both visited so far? Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. Was it? I love Manchester. Do you know, I like Liverpool last week as well. It was good, it was good. Liverpool was yeah. fun. Manchester was the summer. We had summer, two like, weeks there though as well. Yeah, yeah. and it was yeah. summer. So well, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sam. I'm the LX number three on the Shrek tour. I trained at Rose Bruford College down in Kent. Woo! So I'm going to do some quick fire questions for you, Sam. So what is your favourite song in the show? Probably Who Dad Be. It's a great end to act one when you've got the three main characters singing their hearts out. It's such a powerful song. Yeah, I love that one too. Um, who do you think is the funniest cast member? Oh... That's the <laughs> Look here, he's like it me. It has to be cast or crew. Whoever. It has to be Carl Campbell. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> ASM, ASM cover. Um, when we're in the wings together, it is like a house on fire. We laugh, we cry, we joke. You two are very funny together, to be fair. And then, who do you think in the cast is most like their character? Ah. Oh. To me, this one's quite easy, but I don't know whether you'll say the same one. Oh, probably Brandon. Yeah, <laughs> that's Brandon what I was going to say. Brandon in person is crazy and loud. He's well. literally the donkey, isn't he? He is the donkey. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Sam. So I'm going to go into the boys' room, see who's around and ask them some questions. Do you wonder what the boys get up to in mid-show? No! And then no, turn no, it off. No, baby Daisy, no! Oh, baby Daisy? We win on Mario. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Tell you, what song did you sing for your track audition? I sang My Hand Hand from the Lightning Thief. Yay! I would like to ask you some questions for my YouTube, if that's okay. Oh. So this is a good one for Georgie because I kind of already know the answer. But somebody asked, mm -hmm. did anyone in the cast audition for anything else originally, like then their track that they're in currently? Yeah, I originally auditioned for I auditioned for Fiona. You went for Fiona? Yeah, That would yeah, be yeah. a lovely show to you as Fiona. Thank you. <laughs> I originally auditioned for Pinocchio. Which and is random. Dragon. Hey, you wouldn't be a great dragon though. Mm. I can see, I, yeah, and you would uh, be. Oh. Johnny, did you audition for Did you audition for anything else other than Tin of the Cards and First Cup of Art Blood? I auditioned for Ugly Duckling, but I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then after first round of doing Pinocchio, they saw me for Gingy <gasps> as Tin of the Cards. I've got my fingers in all the pies. You were literally, they'd cast you, they were like, let's try every character and see which one suits their best. Beautiful! And you were always in for, you did the Team Fiona material. Yeah, oh, Team Fiona yeah. material. Amazing, were you in for anything else other than, you did Pinocchio material, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I was also in for, I always had the cover Fiona there, but I also had to do dragon material, lol, which would have been hilarious, which obviously, me and me both. we, we can't both. wait for yeah. our dragon debut at the Hammersmith Apollo. Third cover, fourth cover. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we have got Mark here, everyone. Mark, where did you train first of all? I trained at a tiny wee college in Scotland called New College, Lanarkshire. Ah, and obviously, Mark, if you can't already tell, he plays Pinocchio. And one of the most asked questions was, who has the hardest makeup look? Now, you could say Shrek and you could say Donkey, but they get theirs done for them. And Mark, you do all your makeup yourself. And you did win MUA, which is Makeup Artist of the Year of 2023. Amazing, it is so much detail every single day. <laughs> this is in between shows, though. Yeah, the one I do at the start is. I yeah. take my time, I'm meticulous about it. Yeah, it's literally the best makeup look of the entire cast. <laughs> Smash it! I am going to ask stage management what their favourite props are, but mine are the snothers. Now, I don't know what snothers are meant to look like, but these look hella realistic. Um, and they're really fun when you're on stage, obviously as Fiona, you get to like, well, pretend to obviously eat it. You don't really want to eat this. But yeah, I don't know why they're disgusting, but they're literally my favourite. Uh, so Gabs, what do you play in the show? I What's your role? I swing. Yeah, off stage swing. Um, where did you train? I trained at Lane Theatre Arts. She's a lady. A lady. Um, right, so first question is, what is your favourite city we've visited so far? I Mine is a toss up between Dublin, because I've never been to Ireland before. I just liked the vibes, mm -hmm. uh, but also Edinburgh is beautiful. There's so much to see, so much to do. So probably either of those two. Absolutely. So what is your like hardest part about touring? Well, my first thing, in case you couldn't tell by my desk, I like to travel. <laughs> oh my God. Stuff. I have two <laughs> suitcases, a backpack and sometimes a hold all. So I would say yeah. my hardest thing about touring is limiting the stuff that I want to bring. Yeah, you kind of want to just travel your life around and you really yeah, can't and I've only just learned not to. You never know what you're going to need. So that's my one of my <laughs> things. But also generally just being away from your everyday life, family, friends, and then making time to see people in your time off. Whose is your favourite costume in the show? Ooh. Or one that you get to wear one. maybe, because you get to do like loads of different tracks. So like, what's been your favourite one to wear? I really like my fairy outfit, but one yeah. that everyone gets to wear. I just think the rat tap outfits are really sassy. Oh, controversial, everyone, I like it. Everyone looks really cute in them. Everyone looks yeah. really polished in them. Um, so I'd probably say, the rat yeah. Oh, thanks Gabs. Hi Leo, Hello. first of all, just introduce yourself with where you trained and what character you play. So I trained at Lane Theatre Arts and I play the White Rabbit and other ensemble roles. Woo! For you, what is the hardest number to perform on stage? I think it would be Duloc because of the stamina. Hello, so first of all, can I have your name, your role and where you trained? My name is Jabari Braham. I trained at Lane Theatre Arts and I play one of the pigs. And he's also first cover to Donkey. <laughs> so your question is, yes. do you prefer UK tours or working in the West End? Oh, uh, I you know I genuinely enjoy both. I believe you're going to get the same quality of theatre in London. Also, That's so true, actually. Also on tour as well. You know, because you have shows now touring that are also sitting down in London. There's differences which I prefer. Like, I love being able to unpack my suitcase and I have to pack it every week on tour. Mm. But then I also love exploring the new cities and finding new places of interest when out on tour. So I really think it comes down to personal preference. Um, but I might just have a little more favouritism towards being in London. Only Don't worry, it's fine. Me too, I do. Because I feel like you can just settle more and you get a bit more of a life. I can have a coffee every morning. Yeah. I can go to my coffee shops, take a dog for the <laughs> walk. And not have to pack every single week. Yeah. But reg regarding theatre and the quality of theatre, touring is just as great. Yeah. Do, do you want to introduce yourself to the people that hey don't guys, know you? I'm my vlog and I'm Rory and I'm currently a swing on Shrek Musical. Are you from America? Yes, I am. Not planned for Forum? <laughs> what is your favourite track to cover, Rory, my out of all the boys? <laughs> um, it's got to be Pinocchio, hasn't it? It's got to be. Okay, and the next one is what's the hardest track you cover? Hard. Is that also Pinocchio, though? The heart of different reasons. I'd say vocally, yes, Pinocchio. Don't let them hear it. But Jabari's got a hard one as well. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the pigs. What is your advice for someone that wants to be a, like a potential future swing? What's your biggest bit of advice for them? Advice. I would say really learning the detail of choreography, and also when you're learning maybe formations um, for a number, maybe just keeping an eye for people around you, wherever people might be stood. Good spatial um, awareness. Yeah. Yay! Hi Dan. Hi. Do you want to say what your role is within the company of Shrek? Uh, yeah, so I'm Dan, I'm the tech swing. 
uh, so I swing between like the stage plots. Uh, He's a very, person. very clever, clever man. Um, clever. So, what is your favourite prop in the show? Quick fire. Uh, favourite prop would be Jinji that goes on the top track. I thought you'd yeah. say the deer. No, 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 no. The deer's too stressful. <laughs> Jinji. Very true. And then, what is your favourite song in the show? Ooh, between Forever and Build a Wall. Good choices. One Thanks, Dan. Thank you. So we have our donkey hit, Brandon. So Brandon, <laughs> who do you think is most like the character? If it's not you. It's Joanne Clifton. Really? She smells like her fiance. Okay, she's number two, but that is proving me wrong. You are number one in every, by everyone. Like there is no way you're not most like your character. <laughs> First of all, your name, your role, and where you trained. My name is Jessica Liam, and I am in the ensemble, and I cover the dragon and Jinji. And I trained at Emil Dallas. I'm Bethany Kate. I um, I trained at Hunter Studio Centre. Um, I am ensemble and team Fiona. Yeah, Sorry. amazing. What is your favourite costume in the show? You don't necessarily have to wear it, but um, um, I do like the elf, but I also dragon is a slow. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think I quite like Fargo's costume because it's just it's fabulous. It's so good. If you could play another role in the show, what would you play? Either Farquaad or. Yeah, donkey would be fun. I'd love to give it a Fifi, but if I was in a room sample role, I'd like to do Ugly Duckling. Yay! Oh, well, it is a lot of fun. Um, what's your favourite theatre that you've performed in so far on tour? Mine's um, the Bold Gas in Dublin. Oh, yes, awesome. yes, that was a beautiful theatre. And the backstage area was like oh, massive. So I think maybe it was Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, Liverpool was, was so stunning. nice. And I got to do some dragon shows there, so I think it would be a big, it would be a good one. Yeah, and right, so who is most like their character? Brandon Lisa. Brandon, Brandon. yeah. <laughs> Literally, everyone said that so far, and I think it's just so true. Yeah, Brandon. He is donkey. Amazing. Thanks, <laughs> girls. Thank you. So we've got the wonderful Joe Clifton here, our Fiona. So what advice do you give to youngsters trying to get into the industry? Go to every single audition, and even if it's open, if you've got an agent or not, you can go to the open ones and stand out. For example, yep. if you don't know how to tap, don't just stand still, give them a drive. Absolutely. Great advice. Thanks, Joe. Hi, everybody. So before I finish this video, I wanted to answer a few questions myself because um, a few of them were aimed at me, but obviously because I wanted to like include most of the cast and company. Um, yeah, I gave a few questions away to some other people. However, I will obviously just finish this video off by answering some of the questions that you wanted me to answer. Number one being, did I know anyone before starting Shrek? So obviously I knew Rory, that was a given. Um, for those of you that don't know, me and Rory are together, but we were together prior to starting Shrek. So um, yeah, he was literally with me when I got the call and I was with him when he got the call and he got the job. So <laughs> weirdly, me and Talia are from the same area and we sort of knew of each other, but we'd never cross paths. So that was really lovely when I found out she was going to be in the cast. I was like, oh, fellow South girl. Um, and then someone I actually did know, I did know Johnny, who is our Pied Piper. So me and Johnny had actually kind of worked together before, but I was, how old would I have been? Like 13, 14? And he was, oh my God, there's glitter in my hair. I'm so sorry. Um, he was teaching a workshop for um, West End Experience, which is like I used to do as I was a kid. Um, so I have known of Johnny for quite a while. And it's weird to think of him being my teacher. And now we're colleagues and actually very good friends. We share digs together and things. So that was bizarre. I also knew Remy, obviously Remy, like me and Remy had done uh, Grease together. So we kept in contact. Obviously I saw her at the dance finals. So as soon as I realized she was in the final, I thought, hey, let's just keep in contact because Remy's amazing. And I was like, she's gonna get it. So I was just like, let's just stay in contact. So obviously when we both got our offers through, we messaged each other and yeah, so that was really, really lovely. Obviously, I knew Remy. So Remy, Johnny and Rory were the people I knew before starting Shrek. Next question. How do I deal with nerves before going on for Fiona? Um, I suppose everyone deals with nerves differently, but I actually do get very, very nervous. I won't necessarily um, let people know that. 
So yeah, it's hard. Do everything you can to make yourself more comfortable. For example, I don't really steam, and obviously a lot of singers always steam before and after every show. So when I first found out I was going on Fiona, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna steam. It can't do any harm. So I steamed the morning of, and then I think I did a little bit the night before as well, actually. Um, so not that I don't know whether it helps or whatever, but I just did that to put my brain at ease, to be like, I've done that, so it's fine. I always drink lots of ginger to make sure my throat is burning and is as healthy as it can be. Obviously drinking lots of water, which is something I naturally do really struggle with. I think the best thing to help with nerves is just being so prepared. When you know a track and know your cover inside and out, that's one less thing you don't need to be nervous about. Obviously in my brain I always go, do I know the words, do I know the words? Of course I know the words. Of course Imogen, you know the words. Something I have actually done every time before I've gone on for Fiona, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, you got this, you know what you're doing, stop worrying, it's fine, you know what you're doing. And then I just go, because I want to tell myself, actually, you know what? You do know what you're doing. My favorite costume in the show. My favorite costume is actually Remy's. I love Remy's Tinkerbell costume. It's my favorite. It's beautiful. I want to wear it. I don't think it would look as good on me, but I would love to give it a go. People wanted to know our Shrek audition process. So, um, the Shrek, I've actually not really spoken about this very much. And I'm just going to do it quickly, not too in depth because it would be boring um but i believe i had four rounds and they were very very speedy put it that way like i think i auditioned first on like the monday tuesday wednesday one of those days and then the recalls were at the end of the week and then we had two rounds the week after and then it was done we had the office through um so the first round was a dance call at flow dance where we learned a bit of i'm a believer and i was actually the first ever group to go in i was at 10 a.m on the first day of auditions so I don't know, must have bent something. I think I was in like the first group as well. Um, Cause obviously my last name is Bailey and it will, most of the time it goes alphabetically. Then there was a cut. I made it through the dance call. They actually cut quite a few people. So I already was like, oh, I'm really happy to have been kept. Then I had to wait around for like four or five hours, go back and then sing a song of my own choice, which I sung Astonishing from Little Women. Now, obviously I asked a few of the cast, what songs did you sing? And a lot of people have material to begin with. So I am under the impression a few people might have had maybe a different kind of audition process to me, but I know most of the ensemble went through this route. Uh, so then when I sung my song, I've never had this in audition room ever, but they actually applauded me when I finished singing. Now I would say I did sing very well. The acoustics were good. I felt very comfortable. Um, I just, I don't know, I felt very relaxed. I didn't feel too nervous. So then they made me do a scale, which now thinking about it, I know it was the bit in the end of forever where the dragon goes, you're gonna love that bit. And I had to do, just do that scale. Uh, and then I was done. Then I found out that evening that I had a recall, which was a material round, I think. And it was a few days later where I got given cover Fiona material and cover dragon material, which I did mention earlier in the video, uh, which, was, you know, I was, I was excited for. I then went in to do my material round, which was, I think I was given, I know it's today, morning person, but there was another song for Fiona. And then a scene, the rescue scene. So I did that and they laughed, they found me funny. And I was like, okay, this is good. Cause obviously Fiona's a funny character. I was making bold choices. Basically I was channeling my inner Sutton Foster. So that was quite easy cause I love Sutton Foster. <laughs> and then I sung the songs and I sung forever. Then I, that evening found out I got another recall and I was through to the dance finals. So for the dance final, we had to do I'm a Believer again. And they also sent through a tap video, which was obviously to Morning Person. Uh, and they sent it through before, which I really, really enjoyed because I am a tapper. Like I was top set tap at Erdang. I did my advanced two exams. Like I can tap. I just struggle with tap auditions. I don't know why I think it's the sound. It's trying to concentrate on the feet and it can sometimes just be really, really overwhelming. But they sent through the tap routine before. So I was able to learn it and then go to the final the next day. I say learn it. I it was hard to learn off obviously off a screen but it's really good to just familiarize yourself with it anyway went to the dance final and it was actually on a double show day at newsy so we had to go at 10 a.m in the morning we did all the tap and then the newsy lot that were in for shrek at the time got pulled out to then just quickly do i'm a believer for them and then we headed off so we missed half the dance call but it was okay because literally about an hour later i found out i was in for the final which was i 
think either the next day or the day after, so it was a very quick turnaround. Um, and at this point I was only in for cover Fiona, shock horror. Yeah, I was never gonna be Dragon, but <laughs> it was really fun. Like I love the song Forever. It's a really good audition song for anyone that has an incredible bell and loves to riff. Really recommend that song. Um, but yeah, at this point I was only in for ensemble first cover Princess Fiona. So I was like, I really want this. So I went in for my final singing call, I think a couple of days later, and I just did the scene. Uh, the songs, I did another range test actually. So they wanted me to do the bluebird stuff. So the cheep, 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 cheep. So then that was my audition process. I found out like, I think maybe not even a week, a few days later, I think I got a call from my agent saying that I'd been offered the track of Ensemble First Cover Fiona, which obviously I was buzzing about and took straight away. Um, <laughs> who do I think the funniest cast member is? That's really hard. I would actually put Rory up there, which he'll be like, what, no. I think a lot of people see Rory as the annoying sibling of the cast. Like he just goes around and annoys people. He'll have like these little guns and things where he like fires elastic bands at people. He'll just go in and he's a great energy though. Great energy to have in a cast. Also, I have to say, I'm sorry, Johnny is hilarious. Jabari, hilarious. And Anderley actually, Anderley's really funny. I don't really see him so much off stage, but on stage, I feel like the, his pig character and the ugly duckling just don't get along. So it's so fun to just wind each other up on stage. Um, but yeah, I'll do another Q and A, which is just answering like your questions to me. I'll do it a bit later on. Um, but today was obviously about the cast Q and A, but obviously I love answering questions anyway. You know what I'm like, I can chat for England. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, I really would appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe because I'm nearly at 4,000 subscribers. And obviously in 2024, my goal is to hit 5K and we're nearly there already. And it's what, beginning of March, so, I'm very grateful for you all. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you back shortly for my next one. Bye.